morning and welcome back to my channel. Megan here from Morning Coffee with another video about planning and organizing and productivity to help you pursue your own version of more and love the way that you feel while you do it. Today I have something fun and new to share with you. I have started a bullet journal. Um, in one of my plan with me videos, I was talking about how I used a notebook, just a plain lined notebook to plan with, um, to plan like quarterly, monthly, and to break that down weekly. Since I have a daily planner, a day designer planner, which I've also shared on this channel before, I'll link that up here. And, um, essentially I had asked my audience like, Hey, do you want to see a DIY planner notebook? Like something that's not an actual planner, but you kind of adapted it to fit and to be a planner. And then I was, I don't even remember where I was, but I was like, all of a sudden I realized I was like, that's a bullet journal, Megan. Like that's what a bullet journal is and does. So I decided to give it a try. So, um, what a, what a bullet journal really does allow you to do is to make the notebook, the planner completely and entirely customizable to you. So it's nothing pre-printed or predetermined. You have the flexibility to set it up however you want and kind of make your own planner with it. So I thought that I would share my new bullet journal where I got it, what I put in it, and how I'm using it. There will be lots of updates on this channel uh, from the bullet journal in the weeks going forward. And I would just like to put a disclaimer here. I'm not one of the fancy bullet journal people with like all the, the designs and the paper and the, the cuteness. We're just starting very, 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 very simple and basic. But I thought it would be helpful to people on this channel because maybe it's something you're interested in yourself and if um, not wanted to try because you're intimidated by all these beautiful designs so I thought I'd share it with you so let's get take a look inside the new bullet journal and then make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you see my August plan with me that's coming out next week that will walk you through setting up all of my spreads for August so let me take you inside the journal and tell you more about it. So first, this is actually from Walmart. I didn't want to invest in something super expensive if I wasn't sure I was going to like it. So I got this from Walmart. I think it was like seven bucks. It's got a hard cover with a smooth finish. It does have a band that goes all the way around the back. It is hard on both sides. Here's how the little ribbon fits in. And then there are three ribbons um, to mark your pages, which I really appreciate, and you'll see why. But as I get deeper into this notebook, it'll be nice to have those. And I got it in this color because... It just so perfectly matches my day designer. So the planner is where I plan all of my like week and day to day stuff. Like this is what I do day to day and like to see my month at a whole. And this is more for like quarterly planning, and monthly planning, and weekly planning. So that's what I'm going to be using the bullet journal for. So let me open it up and show you what I've got in here so far. So there is a really nice... Um, paper cover on the on the front so it's like a slightly darker shade of green paper cover on both of those sides which is Here nice this is my title cover page I actually found this design online on Pinterest and just copied it um, because I really liked it and this is the pen that I use for it it is a Cali art black I got them on uh, Amazon and I love them I use them for everyday writing and it just worked out perfectly for this so there's my title page on the next two pages, I went ahead and I did an index. This is one of my least favorite things about most notebooks is that there isn't an index. So when you're trying to figure out like what's in here or what page or whatnot, there's not an index. So I drew myself an index. And obviously I am not perfect at drawing and I certainly am actually not aiming to be actually. I'm not trying to be super artistic with this, just so you know. 
And then on the next page, I did a quarterly spread. So I copied over my quarterly spread from the notebook that I had been using. Essentially, it just has the name of the quarter at the top, the year, the months that it covers. And then here in this top box, I have my to-dos, and I have them broken down by uh, financial, house, confidence, organize, uh, morning coffee, which is my channel, and then work. And then down here at the bottom, I have three columns, one for each month, and all of the things that I want to get done during those months. So this is my quarterly spread. On the next two pages is my July spread. So it just says July on the top with a little ribbon where I can put some themes. To-dos, people, projects, occasions, house, and buy is here in the top box. And then across the bottom, there are five columns, one for every week of the month, and all of the tasks that I want to get done in those months. It's essentially taking, well, really, it's taking this stuff breaking it down into category, and then applying it to one of these weeks. And this has made such a big difference in my productivity. So I have all of that along one side of the planner, and then this side is going to be my reflection. I'm going to fill out for July. How did I do on my July goals and plans? What worked really well? What didn't work? Going forward, what am I working on? And then the next page will start my August. And I do plan to do an August plan with me so that you can see me creating this entire spread. Um, I did start numbering the pages, and I will actually do that right here um, so that I can use my index. But again, there is the very beginning, the very start of my bullet journal, which I am just so excited about. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Ooh, if you're interested, these are the um, markers that I picked up. I also got these at Walmart, bought them when I bought the planner. Um, they are Zebra Mild Liner Brush Dual Tip, so like a brushy tip and then a much more blunt tip. Just so you know, these three colors are high, like highlighter colors. I was a little disappointed in that. I was hoping that they would be more like the blue and the teal that you saw me using. These three are like definitely neon highlighters, but I really like the rest. And then the rest was just done with that or my black... Paper Mate Flare pen. There you go, guys. I hope you loved seeing my new bullet journal and that you're as excited as I am about the possibilities of what this could do for my planning and my productivity and all of the fun content that I can share here on this channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back for another video on Wednesday and Sunday. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I, you have a great rest of your day. Happy planning.